John here, welcome back to Four Minutes in the Front Row. So glad that you're tuning in for these videos. How am I doing? Are they helping? Please share your comments and let me know your feedback so we can constantly bring you better and better videos. Today, I wanna to take you to a moment of my life that today I noted as transformative, but at the time I didn't recognize it as such. Can you relate to that? Uh, moments in your life that something happened and it wasn't until years later you recognized the brilliance of that experience? How many of those things are happening to us right now, this year, where we won't even know how transformative it is? That's kind of exciting. Well, this story goes back to almost 15 years ago to Richmond, Virginia. When I'm driving down the road, beautiful day, windows down, sunny, I pull up to a toll booth. I reach into my wallet, grab $3, and I pay the woman. As she takes my money, the toll booth collector, who is probably in her 80s at the time, says to me, how you doing? Now I respond in what I thought was a great way. I said, I'm excellent, thank you. And she looked at me with this puzzled look in her eye and she paused and she said, no. Like I had somehow said something wrong or offended her. I didn't know what was wrong. Those few seconds that passed felt like a few minutes because I didn't know what was coming next. And then she said, you are super fantastic. And she threw her hand up in the air and she leaned out and just got this big, beautiful smile on her face. In that moment, I went from being in a great mood to being in an outstanding mood. I couldn't stop laughing. I was driving down the road. And as I was driving down the road, after having encountered the super fantastic toll booth lady, I thought to myself, what you would probably be thinking to yourself too, does she do this to every single car? Can you imagine if she had an eight hour shift working at the toll booth? How many times could you do that with, without losing enthusiasm? And so at first I thought, maybe it was just me. Maybe it was a one time thing. And then I thought, if she does that to every single car, what an incredible impact she would have. And then I thought, somebody is bound to recognize how brilliant this is and she'll become famous for this. And for some time, I kind of forgot about it. Until months later, I'm in my living room watching TV and I see a commercial appear. And shooting out from the commercial is this toll booth lady and she says, try it, it's super fantastic. And I'll never forget that moment, standing up in my living room all by myself, screaming at the TV, you did it, you're famous. And I was celebrating. Partially I was celebrating, because I called that. And the other reason I was celebrating was because she made this big impact. And I was inspired by the story. That day, and it wasn't until years later that I would really recognize the importance of it, that day taught me that we can approach life in one of two ways. You know, sometimes it seems our situation isn't ideal. Our environment isn't ideal. We're not in the ideal job. You know, you might think, I'm a student right now and I want to be working. Or if you're working, you might think, I'm working at this job, but I'd rather be doing something else. Or maybe you're an employee and you want to be an entrepreneur. Wherever you are, you know, sometimes even as parents you think, I've got these young kids, wait till they grow up when we can do different things or they can comprehend more. And we're always sometimes wishing we were somewhere else, wishing our environment was different than it is. And listen, I'm an advocate of shaping your environment, but I'm also an advocate of owning your environment and making the most of your environment right now. Until you can shape your environment, you just use what you've got to make the most of the situation. So some people say, I work at a toll booth. What difference can I make? In fact, I'd be willing to bet that 90% of people who get a job working at a toll booth just look at it as an opportunity to make a transaction, earn their money, and go home. But this woman got a job at a toll booth and she said, what difference can I make? What opportunity is in front of me? How can I make a difference? How can I make an impact? Now, even if that wasn't a question that she consciously said out loud, I'm guessing that was the question that led her to determine that this was a way she could engage with people, to make a difference, to elevate the mood of every person who came before her that day. And this was a woman who became famous for that, at least locally. And I want to share with you that 15 years later, I'm telling you this story. So never underestimate the ability that you have to make a lasting, meaningful impact on someone's life. This woman, in a matter of seconds, created an experience for me that would shape my future forever. A story that I now tell a hundred times a year, a story that I'll share with my children, a story that guides my actions. 
one woman's generosity, one woman's energy helped elevate my mood in a single moment that would then ripple for years and decades to come. What will you do today to elevate someone? What contributions will you make regardless of your environment? How can you make the most of every situation that you find yourself in? In the Front Row community, we call these people moment makers. You know, in the Front Row Foundation, we strive to create incredible moments and experiences for people that are battling for their lives, children and adults who are fighting. We want to create that day, you know, a relief from all of that burden. But the interesting thing is it's even more than about a day. It's about a day becoming a platform for how we can live every day of our life. You know, we strive to be moment makers for a day, but we really want to be as moment makers for a lifetime. We want to create an experience that becomes something we can reflect upon, we can draw energy upon. So when you create a moment for somebody in their life, it's not just the moment. It's the moment that then ripples into every moment of their lives. I hope this helps. I hope you choose to embrace your full power as a moment maker. I thank you for being part of our front row community. And until next time, keep living life in the front row. Take care.